The movie begins on a chilly night in Detroit. An El Camino car chasing another through the snowy streets. Eventually, the car being followed stops, and its driver, an elderly woman named Evelyn Mercer, heads into a convenience store. Inside, Evelyn catches a young boy named Darnell swiping a candy bar. She pretends to call the police but instead convinces him to do better. As Evelyn picks out a Thanksgiving turkey, two shady characters in hoods and armed with shotguns enter the store, demanding money from the cashier, Samir. Evelyn, hidden behind a counter, witnesses the robbers shoot Samir. She gasps, alerting the criminals, who then leave the store after another gunshot that we hear from outside. The story then shifts to Bobby Mercer, who returns to Detroit for Evelyn's funeral. He meets his brothers, Jeremiah and Jack, and later, they gather at Jeremiah's place for a reception. Light Green briefs his partner on the Mercer brothers' background. All adopted by Evelyn after a challenging past, they were raised as a family. Bobby, the oldest, is known for his troubled history. Jack, the youngest, has a penchant for trouble, and Jeremiah has moved on to become a successful businessman with a family. Light Green, a childhood friend of the brothers, is surprised to see Bobby in town but pays his respects to Evelyn. And so, the tale of the Mercer brothers and their journey unfolds. Bobby and Jack are like uncles to Jeremiah's kids, Daniela and Amelia. They tell the girls their family, even if they don't look the same. But Camille, Jeremiah's wife, isn't happy about Bobby staying. Light Green tells Bobby they're looking into Evelyn's murder. They talk to a basketball player who saw two guys running from the store that night. Fowler, the other cop, doesn't care much, annoying Bobby, who kicks them out. The brothers go to their old house. Angel, back from the Marines, gets scolded for missing the funeral. Inside, they are unhappy that their mom is gone. Bobby decides who sleeps where, taking Evelyn's room. He breaks down but pulls himself together. Jeremiah insists on celebrating Thanksgiving. As he goes out for a turkey, Angel wants some air. Bobby warns him about his ex. Despite promises, Angel ends up running through the snow with Sophie, his ex, chased by her angry boyfriend. They barely make it back to the Mercer home, adding more drama to the day. At the Mercer house, things get tense when Bobby teases Angel about bringing Sofi back. Bobby doesn't want her there, and this upsets Angel. They start tossing things around, and Jeremiah joins in, trying to watch his football game. They end up roughhousing until Jeremiah pins Angel to the ground. Later, they all sit down to eat. Bobby leads them in saying grace, and they quietly serve themselves, feeling the gap left by Evelyn. In their minds, they imagine her being there. Jeremiah imagines her scolding him for eating with his mouth open, passing the advice to Angel. Jack, struggling the most, imagines her comforting him, saying he's safe now. While eating, Bobby suggests playing the turkey cup, a traditional hockey game. They enjoy the cold night and head to a bar, toasting in memory of Evelyn. Jack gets drunk, but the others stay clear-headed, discussing Evelyn's murder. They doubt the police will solve it, but Jeremiah insists they leave it to them. The bartender gives a lead, hinting the shooting was gang-related. Bobby presses for more info, but Jeremiah leaves, not wanting more trouble. With new details, Bobby, Angel, and Jack arm themselves into an old gang hideout. They crash a party, confront the gang leader, and demand answers about Evelyn's death. The leader denies involvement but reveals the basketball playing witness lied, claiming the shooters left at 11, while the court lights went off at 10. The Mercer brothers are left with more questions and a growing determination to uncover the truth. Bobby took the gang leader to a basketball court near the store at 10 p.m., as he said. They let the gang leader go, confused about why the witness lied. Back home, they shared what they found with Jeremiah. Bobby teased Sophie, but Angel wasn't amused. The next day, they met Evelyn's lawyer, Robert Bradford. He read her will and gave them a box. Bobby splits the money with Jeremiah and Angel, jokingly giving Jack a piece of jewelry. Jeremiah shared a plan to make money from an old parking lot. At the store where Evelyn was shot, they watched security footage. Bobby couldn't understand why the shooters killed Evelyn when they already had the money. The new store owner didn't know the witness's name but said he played basketball nearby. 
Angry about their mother's setup, Bobby led the brothers to the community center to find the witness. The brothers, armed and determined, storm a basketball game looking for the witness. Jack spots a nervous kid, Keenan, and chases him. Angel tackles Keenan, and they interrogate him. Keenan admits his brother Damien is the witness, leading them to Damien's apartment. Waiting outside Damien's place, Jeremiah leaves for his daughter's dance practice. Bobby and Angel chase Damien, but he releases aggressive dogs. In the apartment, Damien escapes using a rope. Bobby cuts it, sending Damien crashing down. Damien, now injured, spills the truth. He lied for money but won't reveal the shooters. Threatened, he gives up their identities. The brothers track the shooters to a bar, sparking a shootout. Chasing in the snow, Bobby rams their car, leading to a violent confrontation. Bobby and Angel ruthlessly deal with the shooters while Jack watches in shock. The morning after, Green and Fowler, the investigators, think the two murdered men were targeted. They suspect the Mercers. At the house, Sophie tries to help Bobby with his dog bites. Green and Fowler show up, and Bobby hides his wounds with a robe. Jack opens the door, and Green asks about their activities. Bobby acts clueless, even when Green mentions the killers being dead. Angel questions how robbers became killers, and Green notices blood on Bobby's arm. Bobby claims it's from playing hockey. Fowler shows hair, claiming it's Bobby's. Bobby laughs it off, and Angel teases Fowler, almost starting a fight. Fowler warns them to be careful before leaving. Later, Bobby and Jack check Damien's apartment. Meanwhile, Angel deals with Sophie. She gets irritated, and Angel finds her on the washing machine. They get interrupted by an insurance agent delivering news about Jeremiah's claim. Angel learns Jeremiah is bankrupt but getting $400,000 from Evelyn's death. At Damien's place, Bobby and Jack find guns and a useful camera. Back home, Bobby wonders how Damien got the guns, and Jack discovers pictures of Evelyn being followed. Jeremiah and Angel enter, seeing a photo of Evelyn with her lawyer, Mr. Bradford, on the day she died. This raises suspicions, as Bradford claimed to have met her only once. They decide to investigate him next. In a fancy downtown restaurant, gang members, including Charlie, Evan, and his wife, dine together. Victor Sweet, their leader, arrives angry, realizing the in-town shooters are dead. He vents frustration, saying he wanted out-of-town shooters to avoid trouble. Sweet gets upset when Evan eats during his rant, making Evan eat off the floor like a dog, angering his wife. Meanwhile, the brothers break into Bradford's home to find clues. Jack discovers Bradford met Evelyn multiple times. Sophie interrupts, shouting about a robbery, but it's a ruse to confront Bradford. Bobby pushes him into the snow, learning Bradford had a secret romantic involvement with Evelyn. Apologizing, Bobby assures them they only want to find her killer. The next day, Angel follows Jeremiah to a bank, discovering he's receiving $400,000. Investigating further, he links Councilman Douglas to shutting down Jeremiah's project. Bobby and Jack confront Douglas in a parking garage, dousing his car in gas. They demand answers, and Douglas reveals a name, Victor Sweet. The brothers meet Angel at a bowling alley after leaving a parking garage. Angel tells them about Victor Sweet, who controls a lot in Detroit. They see Evan getting money from Jeremiah at the bowling alley. Later, they ask about the envelope Evan got and find out it's cash. Bobby gets emotional, and Angel stops him from doing something impulsive. In the car, Bobby, with tears, struggles with what they find in the envelope. Angel calls Jeremiah to arrange a meeting for the next day. Meanwhile, Douglas tells Victor Sweet about the Mercer brothers talking to him. Sweet dismisses Douglas and asks for a gun ominously. At the police station, Green finds tapes contradicting Fowler's earlier statements about Evelyn. This surprises Green. The next morning, Jeremiah comes to the Mercer house. Bobby accuses him of causing their mom's death with money problems. Jeremiah denies it, saying the money was for his daughters. He explains turning down Sweet's offer led to Sweet ruining his business. Evelyn trying to help is believed to be why she was killed. While talking, Jack answers the door to insults. Chasing the person, Jack is shot by someone in a hockey mask. 
Bobby, realizing Jack is gone, fights back with a shotgun. More men in a van arrive, shooting at the house. Bobby is forced inside as Jack is shot multiple times. Crawling to a telephone pole, Jack screams for Bobby. In the chaos, Angel and Bobby use weapons they find to fight back against the gunmen attacking their house. They manage to kill more of the attackers. Jeremiah defends himself in the kitchen, stabbing one of the intruders before feeling horrified and leaving, thinking about his family. Jack is on the street, crying. Angel goes upstairs for a better view, and Bobby throws a brick at one of the gunmen, tackling him afterward. Angel comes back downstairs, and Jeremiah, in a quick move, rams the attacker's van with his car, saving Bobby from being hit. They rush to Jack, who is choking on blood. Despite Bobby's desperate attempts, Jack struggles and groans before dying. Bobby, devastated, takes Jack's gun and confronts the van's driver, demanding to know if Victor Sweet ordered the attack. The driver nods and, thanking God, mutters about Sweet. Bobby, furious over his mother and brother's deaths, shoots the driver. The police arrive, and Green, sad about Jack's death, approaches the brothers. Bobby gets angry, but Green reveals he's dealing with a corrupt cop in his department. Angel asks if it's Fowler, but Green doesn't openly admit it. He apologizes for Jack's death and mentions no charges will be filed against the brothers since it was self-defense. Green goes to a bar where Fowler is playing pool. He confronts Fowler for not telling him about meeting Evelyn. Fowler brushes it off, saying he didn't think it was important. Despite an apology, Green knocks Fowler down, saying he can't stand dirty cops, and takes away Fowler's gun and badge. Fowler follows, revealing he forgot something. He pulls out a hidden gun, shoots Green multiple times, and kills him. Fowler cleans the gun, tosses it away, takes Green's gun, and calls for police backup, claiming an officer is down, while firing shots into the air. Both Green and Jack are buried, leaving the brothers unsure about what to do next. They believe Fowler was involved in Evelyn's murder. Bobby thinks about killing Fowler but Angel warns against it due to the consequences. With a contract on their lives from Sweet, they need a different plan. Jeremiah suddenly comes up with an idea. Jeremiah sends his family away for safety, and Camille makes Bobby promise to keep him safe. He then goes to Evan's house with a plan. The proposal is to pay $400,000 to Sweet to cancel the contract on their lives. Jeremiah trusts Evan, as they were in a union together. Returning home, he tells Bobby and Angel that Sweet has taken the bait and plans to meet that afternoon. Despite the limited time, they agree that Jeremiah will meet Sweet with the money while Bobby follows. Angel ensures Fowler is kept busy. Angel quickly goes to Fowler's house. Using a kid selling candy bars as a distraction, Angel sneaks in and surprises Fowler. He puts a plastic bag over Fowler's head, securing it with a belt. Angel signals Bobby, allowing Jeremiah to leave with the money. Fowler manages to tear the bag at the last moment and faces Angel at gunpoint. Meanwhile, Sofi goes to the police station to confess that Angel talked about killing a cop. This prompts a squad to head to Fowler's house, setting up a perimeter. Fowler taunts Angel about his impending arrest. Angel disagrees, claiming he knows Fowler killed his partner. Fowler admits to the crime confident no one would believe Mercer over him. However, Angel bluffs, saying he has a hidden wire feeding their conversation to surveillance outside. Falling for the bluff, Fowler takes Angel outside as a hostage. Confused, the police outside shoot at Fowler, incapacitating and killing him. Meanwhile, Jeremiah rides with Evan and Charlie to a meeting spot in the middle of a frozen lake. In the distance, he sees Sweet's guys using chainsaws to cut holes through the ice. Sweet arrives, surprised to see Jeremiah there. Jeremiah gives him the money and reminds him to leave him and his brothers alone. He suggests using the money to help Sweet's mistreated guys instead. Sweet is insulted and orders Evan to give him a gun, but Evan refuses, mentioning his long union history. When Sweet threatens to tell Fowler about the meeting, Jeremiah reveals Fowler won't be coming. Sweet challenges his goons to take him down. Then, Bobby appears, walking confidently and ready for revenge. Sweet laughs, they remove their coats, and a fight begins. 
Jeremiah and Sweet's guys cheer them on as Bobby and Sweet brawl. Finally, Bobby lands a powerful blow under Sweet's chin, knocking him out. He instructs the others to dump Sweet in a hole in the ice. The goons toss Sweet into the freezing water as Jeremiah and Bobby leave. Jeremiah asks if the cops will bother them, but Bobby isn't worried, saying the police like the Mercers. The three brothers endure beatings from the cops who want to know about Fowler and Victor Sweet. Despite the harsh treatment, the brothers stay quiet, making jokes about spending time with their wives instead. Eventually, they're let go, bringing relief to Camille and Sophie. By Christmas, the brothers work hard to fix their bullet-damaged Mercer home. Sophie and Camille gather everyone for a meal. Bobby finishes some woodworking, and a street hockey puck thrown by kids hits him. When asked if Evelyn is coming back, Bobby sadly says no and tells the kids to enjoy their game. Sitting on the front steps, he sees Evelyn smiling and crocheting. She tells Bobby it's good to see him and asks if he'll stick around. Bobby, smiling, says, he's thinking about it. She smiles back, and in a moment, she disappears. At peace, Bobby joins his family inside. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.